I'm Bob Hallmark in studio today. We're going to talk about something that has some people reacting with uh, fear and resistance, while others look hopefully into new technology that will create a new revolution, AI. And that's what we're talking about with a panel of experts who got together yesterday to educate people on the benefits of AI. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Hey everyone, I'm Dave Kolsky. Okay. I uh, have worked in data analytics and data science for the past couple of years in the businesses that, in medium and small size businesses. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what we've been talking about today in our panel is around large learning language models, and large data analytics around medium and small size businesses. All right, David, let's talk a little bit about, uh, during the 70s, there was the computer revolution. Everybody was saying, it's coming, it's coming, get ready for it. Uh, now we're talking about technology that is upon us. Uh, one of the things you guys are going to be talking about today is get ready. It's mm -hmm. coming. Is that right? That's exactly right. I think that there's new tools that are coming out into the market that have already existed last year and are coming out this year that shouldn't be seen as intimidating, but should be seen as activating. They allow your business to do a lot more with the resources that you have today and to be able to create new solutions to problems that maybe we don't even know exist yet. All right. And this is where we've come. Uh, you know, the, uh, if we took a look at 50 years ago to today, leaps and bounds, uh, a lot like the turn of the century when the automobile, the airplane, uh, television and radio, things nobody thought possible. And yet now we're on the verge of that. That's exactly right. I think just like the automobile and the airplane, though, it shouldn't be seen as intimidating. It should be seen as an opportunity to improve and grow with the problems that we're able to solve. So now that there are things that were previously unfixable that now we can start to address in our daily lives today with new technology. Even expert economist Dr. Ray Perryman said new technology and AI is inevitable. Well, there, there typically is a rush to invest when there's a new technology. AI is certainly the one right now that's getting a lot of attention. Uh, I think it's going to have some profound effects on, on us. I don't think it's going to have the effects a lot of commentators are saying it's going to have. Uh, it's going to change a lot of jobs. There's no question. It's going to change the way we do some things. There's still some work to be done to perfect it. Historically, people always think that a technology is going to just get rid of all the jobs. And it never does. I mean, computers are going to get rid of all the jobs. The internet was going to get rid of all the jobs. Now, AI is going to get rid of ro robotics. We're going to get rid of all the jobs. I mean, every time there's a new innovation, that's the intention. I mean, you go back to the wheel. I mean, the wheel was going to get rid of all the jobs. And they always transform jobs. They always have temporary, pretty significant impacts. But in reality, all technologies in the long run create jobs. And a very simple uh, data point on that is, at this moment in history, we have more technology than we've ever had at any point in history and we have more people working than we've ever had in any point in history. All right, joining us now is uh, Dr. Michael McCarthy, uh, PhD, and uh, go ahead and tell everybody where you're from, by the way. I'm from New York. I, I live and I came down yesterday so excited to be here in Tyler uh, with this great team uh, to help small businesses in this local area. Okay. Uh, we talked a little bit about this uh, uh, just, just a few minutes ago. Uh, technology is upon us. It, we're at a, a, a stage now where a lot of people thought maybe we never would be, and yet here we are. Uh, is there a, a sense of maybe preparing pe for people for what's coming now? Yeah, we really need to begin to embrace the big technology, the big data that we have at our fingertips. Most businesses, small, medium-sized businesses, have data that they can begin to leverage and compete. I, I'm really excited about making it possible so that we can begin to help small, medium-sized businesses who aren't currently using the data that they have to begin to think what they can do with it and to begin to be able to leverage and become more competitive in their space. Okay. Uh, now, one of the things that has been brought up now is uh, the Amazons of the world, uh, the technology, AI, mm -hmm. uh, all of those things that we thought impossible 50 years ago, and yet here it is. Uh, you're talking about how businesses can take advantage. Don't be afraid but take advantage of those kind of things. Yeah, there really is a, there's a risk to adoption, but there's also a risk not to adopt. So uh, small, medium-sized organizations need to begin to set the infrastructure, begin to find the people to really begin to leverage data and analytics to become able to compete with larger organizations. Because if you're not doing it, your competitor will be. I'm Raghava Katramudi, and I'm a data scientist at Bellflight, and I'm here at Tyler, Texas on this, uh, to discuss about uh, big data for small businesses. Okay, and where are you from, by the way? 
uh, Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Okay. Uh, well, tell me a little bit about this. Uh, you know, when people think of new technology, uh, there's a certain amount of fear involved. It's a, it's like a risk, but uh, I'm guessing you say that there's something you need to do when it comes to this. You need to educate yourself. Educate yourself on risks, risks of not adopting to the new technologies and risks or costs associated with not adopting. Uh, that there might be some people that are very hesitant about that, people, particularly people who have yes. been in business a long time, yes. saying, well, everything works for me right now. Why should I change? There's a good reason why you should change. Right. I mean, uh, it works right now with, with the amount of scale you have. But uh, what the tech, with, if your competitor adopts to the technology and there is a very good chance that he might outdate you or outpace you. So it's not just about the growth. Even if you want to sustain in the existing business, the techno adopting to the latest technology is imminent. Very well said. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we'll have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Holmark.